Hi friends, how are you? In this awesome lecture, we will learn together how to configure Amazon simple email services to start sending emails today. So stay tuned and let's start together. Since you are here in this video, I am sure that you know what is Amazon SES. But just in case, in a couple of seconds, let's explain what is Amazon SES. Simply, when you want to send emails, when you want, when you want to run email marketing campaigns, you need an SMTP server. This SMTP server is responsible for sending your emails. Very nice. You can simply use Google SMTP as an example, I mean Gmail. You can use servers like SendGrid, like MailGun, like Turbo SMTP, whatever service you want. In Amazon, we have an SMTP service called Amazon SES or Simple Email Service. Very nice. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can configure Amazon SES to start sending emails today. Before we start, you need to know that you need a domain name in order to go with Amazon SES. In general, when, whenever you want to build your SMTP server or use an SMTP service, you need a domain name. So please get a domain from GoDaddy, Namecheap, NameSilo, whatever domain provider you want. So in order if you want to continue with me in this lecture. So that's it. Let's start together. Okay, friends. So here we are inside Amazon Web Services. If you don't have an account, please sign up and continue with me. I don't want to waste time now signing up an account. Click now my account. I will go to AWS Management Console to sign in. I will enter my password and log in. Okay, friends, here we are now. Simply go to services here and simply search for SES and you can find the simple email service. Click on it to open the SES management dashboard. Okay, friends, the first thing you need to do is to add your domain to SES. So simply click on domains here and Click verify a new domain. Simply enter your domain. Let's say my domain is h-y.me and click generate DKIM settings so we can add DKIM values and click verify this domain. It will give you now some records to add to your DNS zone. Okay, let's now go to GoDaddy and click on my domains so I can add these values. I think the idea is somehow very simple. So here I am. Here's my sample domain. Just click here and click manage DNS. It is the same concept if you are using any domain provider. So here is my DNS management zone and here is the records for my sample domain. Let's go again and now you need to add this text record. Always copy everything except the domain name. So we'll get this as an example, copy and then go here, add a text record, paste the host name and then get a text value, copy it and paste it here. In the same way, let's copy a DKIM record so copy everything except the domain name here and create now a CNAME record. Let's wait a little bit. Simply say add again. Now select CNAME and enter the host name. CNAME because simply this type is CNAME here. Just copy this value and paste it here in the same way and do this for all records. We have here three records. And if you want to set the MX record, also you can set it here. The MX is the email server record for your domain. After you set this, simply click close and your domain will be verified soon. I did this before for my domain. You can see this sample domain, cactico.com. The verification is verified. The DKIM is verified and it's enabled for sending. That's it. You need to add your domain and wait maybe for 20 minutes, half an hour. 
So AWS or Amazon will verify your domain. Very simple. So that's it for domain verification. Let's now remove this domain because I have already added my verified domain. After verifying your domain, you will be able to send only four verified email addresses here because you will be set in the sandbox. Let's go to sending statistics here. I will go to another region, like US East. And you will notice by default that you are set in the sandbox. You can only send to verified emails and only 200 emails per day. So to unlock this limit, simply request a sending limit increase. Click on this button here and this page will open. You can see, you can select the mail type. Just fill up this form, your website, if you have one. Fill up this request and click submit. Please describe why you want to increase this limit and so on and click submit. And maybe after 24 hours to 48 hours, Amazon will reply and open the limit for you. You can see here in my US West, Oregon, I opened the limit. So now I can send around 50,000 emails per day. You can see 50,000 email remaining. So it's very simple. Just add your domain, submit a request to open the limit. And after 24 hours or 48 hours, Amazon will open the limit for you. You have a limit of 14 emails per second and 50,000 emails per day. Now you may be wondering about Amazon SES pricing. What's nice about Amazon, it's almost the cheapest SMTP or email service in this planet. If we go now to Amazon SES pricing, you can see that we can send around 1000 emails for only 0 0.1 this means that we can send 10,000 emails for one dollar you can send 100,000 emails for ten dollars really awesome service maybe you may tell me that i can't afford this i can't pay every day ten dollars for 100,000 emails you can build your own SMTP server and open the limits and pay around 20 to 40 dollars per month to get a VPS server for you and send 100,000 emails every day. Do you see the difference? So if you are interested in learning about building your own SMTP server, please check the link in the description. I have a full lecture here on my YouTube channel totally for free. Also, I have a full course premium course on Udemy you can get now for only $9.99 check it in the description if you are interested okay so let's continue now after we added our domain we opened our limit we need to get the SMTP settings or credentials that we are going to use to send an email how to do this simply go here to SMTP settings click on this and click create my SMTP credentials. Simply now click create here. Click show user SMTP credentials. And here we are. Let's open notepad as an example to copy these credentials. This is the username. And this is the SMTP password. Very nice. Now you need also the port and the host. Where do we find this? Simply let's go back here and click on SMTP settings again. You can see we can use port 25, 465 or 587 and this is our server name. Just copy it. Here is our host name and the post you can use any of these. Very nice. So this is our configuration and this is our SMTP settings. Okay. So save these and you can use now in any email marketing software like MailWiz, Mailster, SendBlaster, whatever you are using to send emails. Please check the description below. I have tutorials about MailWiz, Mailster and a lot of other free lectures about email marketing you can find in the description below. So let's go now minimize this. And let's see what we have here. We can see the sending statistics. I showed you this before. We can see deliveries, rejects, bounces, complaints. We can see how many emails you sent per day. We can go to the reputation dashboard 
and see your reputation. It's very important to be healthy if you want your emails to go into the inbox folder. If you have a lot of bounce rates, then you may be blacklisted or blocked even by Amazon. So that's it. This is almost the basic configuration of Amazon SES and how to start working with email marketing with Amazon. Before I end this lecture, let's test our server. Here I have MailWiz already deployed in my environment. This is my own server, my own VPS, and MailWiz is installed and hosted. As I told you, if you want to learn how to get MailWiz, install it, and configure it, just check my description for the free lecture below. So, simply in servers, uh, I have delivery servers, here you can add your SMTP servers. In my case, I have already added my server. You can see, here is my SES server, you can set the host name, the username, the password, the protocol, the port, and so on. Very nice. Let's validate the server, simply say send a test email, validate server, and very nice, it says please check the inbox to confirm the server. So here is my inbox, you can see I have this testing email from HGK Academy, I sent this test email. Very nice. That's it about Amazon SES. I hope you enjoyed this lecture, you got some benefit. Please, if you have any question, you need any detail, I will be here anytime to help you. Please support me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video, sharing my videos, so I can keep up with you. Thank you and see you later. Thank you for following. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to like the video, and to press on the bell for notifications. You can also view our other lectures. Thank you and see you in other videos.